Hello students. I received several emails asking questions about the proper way to complete the how do you measure up experiment two. So what I'm showing here is a copy of a lab report sheet. I did the experiment. I measured the height of my Jiffy box starting from the left corner. And then I measured the height starting from the rightmost corner. Then I also measured the height by measuring the height from the middle of the box. And then I measured the width of the box from the top of the box, the bottom of the box, and the middle of the box. And then finally, I measured the depth of the box, starting from the left corner of the box, then from the right corner of the box, and then from the middle of the box. Then I went to our eLearn homepage, clicked on the Activities tab, then I clicked Discussions, and then I went to the Experiment 2 forum, and then I chose the Data Submission subforum. Then I clicked Start a New Thread, and then I added my data to that discussion board. And then in addition, I obtained the data from four of your peers, Grayson, Tim, Lindsay, and Jalen, and several other of your peers have already posted their data. And so I chose four of your peers and I wrote down their data. There are three height values and all units are centimeters. Their height, width, and depth data And so now that I've got all the data in the data sheet, my data plus the data from four students, now I need to calculate the average value or true value for height, for width, and for depth. So I have three, six, 9, 12, 15 pieces of data for height. And I've got 15 values for width and 15 values for depth. So to get the average or true value for height, I need to add all 15 of these values for height together. And then I would need to divide the sum by 15. And so now I'm going to do the math using my calculator. 13.7 plus 13.9 plus 13.8 plus 13.71 plus 13.67 plus 13.69 plus 13.7 plus 13.9 plus 13.9 plus 13.61. plus 13.61, plus 13.6, plus 13.6, plus 13.6, plus 13.6. And so I've got 15 numbers that I've added together. So I'm going to take that sum and divide by 15. My average is 13.70 for height. So I take that value and I place it here.
And then next, I just rewrite my data. So numbers one, two, and three here, that's my data for height, 13.7, 13.9, 13.8, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 13.9, 
from four of your peers. Okay. So how do you get an average deviation? Well, for my height, I take my three deviations. So these are my three deviations. I add these three numbers together and divide by three. So zero plus 0 0.2 plus 0.1 is 0.3. Divide 0.3 by three. I get 0 0.1. And then to get the average deviation for the entire set, I need to take all of these deviations, all 15 of them. Add all 15 deviations together and divide by 15. And so adding all 15 deviations together and then dividing by 15, I got 0 0.087. So therefore the average value for my height or true value is 13.70. Then plus or minus my average deviation. And so now we've done deviations. Deviation measures the precision. The precision is a measure of how close your values are to each other. Accuracy, on the other hand, is a measure of how well your measurements compare to the true or the average, which is also called the accepted value. So for accuracy, you have to calculate the percent error. And so the percent error is equal to your true value minus the experimental value, you subtract those, then take the absolute value. The absolute value of any number is always going to be the positive. And then you divide by the true value times 100.
So we've already calculated the deviations. The, this numerator in our percent error formula, the true value minus the experimental value, that is your deviation. So to get your percent error, you take your deviation, divide by the true value, and then times 100, and that will give you your percent error. So the larger your deviation, so we don't really have to do this calculation, we can say the larger the deviation, the larger the percent error. So if I look at my height deviations, My largest deviation is 0 0.2 because I've got 0 0.2. Yes, that is going to be my largest deviation. So my largest percent error, this is the only calculation I'm going to have to do, is my largest percent error based on my largest deviation of 0.20. My true value, my average is 13.70. Then I multiply by 100. My percent error is 1.46%. That's my largest percent error, and that's not bad at all. So that lets me know that we all did a pretty good job measuring the Jiffy Box height because the largest percent error is 1.46 percent. And how many significant figures? I should have at least three, um, at least two significant figures. Because my largest deviation had two significant figures, 0 0.20. And then I divided 0 0.20 by 13.70. So I only need two significant figures in my percent error because this number only has two significant figures. The zero in front of the decimal is not significant. The zero after the decimal is significant. This is four significant figures. So the rule says that when we're multiplying and dividing, our answer should have the same number of significant figures as the digit in the operation that has the, the fewest number of significant figures. So because this one has four, this one has two, our answer should have just two. So 1.5%. So we would repeat this same thing for width and depth. Get your average deviation of your three measurements and then get the average deviation for the entire 15 set of measurements. And then write your average value plus or minus that average deviation for the entire set. And then look at your deviations, pick out which one's the largest one, like I did for the height. 0.2 was the largest deviation that I had. I took that largest deviation and divided it by the true value 
times 100, and that gave me my percent error. I only needed two significant figures. So I hope by me doing this little video for you, this little recording for you, and going through the set of calculations, that now you feel a whole lot better about completing this lab report successfully. If you have any questions, please email me and I will do my best to clear up any further confusion. Have a great rest of your day.